An engine on a passenger plane burst into flames above the U.S. state of Colorado, scattering debris onto the homes lying below. Yeah, the Boeing 777 had 241 people on board, but it was able to return safely and land. No one was reported injured. Mark Lobel reports. The chilling view from inside United Airlines Flight 832, moments after takeoff from Denver, when its right engine catches fire. Some of the 231 passengers using their phones to film what could be their last flight. Others nervously texting loved ones goodbye. You could just feel it like boom and you could hear it and you just, we started shaking. And I, we, are, we were right on the wing so I looked out and I could see some smoke coming and I just knew, you know. My daughter was sitting on the window and she's, a, you know, I, I was just like, don't look, like let's, let's close it up and let's just pray. So that's what we did. We kind of just held hands and said some prayers. As the Boeing 777, destined for Hawaii, suddenly circles back for an emergency landing. Yeah, Che, why don't we get going? Because these things are just falling. Parts of the plane were raining down on the city of Broomfield. Landing in the park, streets, and on people's front lawns. This casing was meant to be keeping the plane's engine free from ice and literally weighs a ton. It initially struck this pickup truck with its owner just meters away. A lot of people said they heard that really loud explosion which startled a lot of people and then they just started seeing basically what they thought was a plane falling from the sky. What it was was debris. It's hard to determine exactly what it is. I, I did kind of comb through Commons Park. I was taking a look at some of the debris. Um, it looks like possibly some exterior pieces of the plane. This whole town is now effectively behind police lines. Only residents permitted to enter with investigators requesting debris is left alone. America's National Transportation Safety Board has opened an investigation into what they're calling an engine event. For all those who are on board and on the ground below, it's certainly an event none of them will ever likely forget. Mark Lobel, BBC News.